know, just the, the feeling of holding this and um, you know, realizing that this was still toxic trash floating 2,000 kilometers from shore um, you know, less than a, than a year ago, I think is, is really quite, quite crazy. So to, to, to rid the world's oceans of plastic, I think two things need to happen. On one hand, we need to stop more plastic from reaching the oceans. For that, we are um, developing these interceptors to, to put in the mouths of rivers to, to catch the plastic before it becomes ocean plastic. And secondly, we need to clean up the legacy pollution. So the plastic that's already floating out there in these vast collections of trash, these ocean garbage patches. So, so last year we um, we tested our pilot system in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Um, we had uh, success there, we collected the first plastic. What on earth do you do with that? Maybe we can use that to actually make the cleanup self-sustainable, uh, basically turning trash into treasure to, to clean up more trash. I think the so the key philosophy behind this product is to really close the circle. Beautiful pair of sunglasses. Of course, you know because we're a nonprofit, all of the proceeds go to uh, to the mission, and every pair of sunglasses will allow us to to clean 24 football fields worth of ocean. What makes me hopeful is yeah, the, the amount of people that that are actually you know, willing to help. And I mean the fact that almost 10,000 people pre-registered um, for you know, this first product. I think it's um, is quite special.